The second man to walk on the moon has long had a link with Carnarvon. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. A NASA tracking station in the Midwest town played a vital role in getting Apollo 11 to the moon and back safely. Very nice to meet you. Thank you very much. It may not have been a lunar landing, but everyone was buzzing with excitement. Within minutes of 82-year-old Buzz Aldrin arriving in Carnarvon, he was already given the keys to the town. Thank you very much. Students eager to learn what it was like to walk on zero gravity. Today, Buzz Aldrin captivated Carnarvon school children with his tales from space. What else did you do on the moon? I wet my pants. <laughs> Mr. Aldrin is in town to open a new space museum. Where are we going next? Back to the moon? No. We're going to Mars. WA Town's been starstruck since the 60s when it began hosting NASA's biggest overseas space centre and played a pivotal role in the Apollo missions. We have a liftoff, ready to pass the hour. Fortunately, the wonderful country of Australia obliged. Back then, 200 of its 2,000 residents worked at the tracking station. Canada was the best thing that ever happened to it. Now the dish that's long dominated the outback skyline is set to become a space and technology museum. And Buzz Aldrin's busy launching local imaginations. Awesome. <laughs> For the children of uh, Carnarvon and Australia to come in and learn that history is the most important part of the event. After years of planning, it's hoped the buzz factor will help the project really take off. He'll be hosting a so-called cosmic fundraiser here tonight, ahead of tomorrow's official launch. The next step for the 82-year-old is a scuba dive off our coast. In Carnarvon, Natalia Cooper, 7 News.